Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope everything's going really well in the office for you this week or wherever you happen to be. Um, I'm coming to you today from home. You might even be able to see my kitchen in the background there. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks that have to do with the purge command. Now I'm hoping that you've already discovered the purge command because the purge command is, help, is going to help you clean your drawings out. It's going to help you keep the size down of your drawing files, which is really important because the smaller the drawing files, the faster you're going to be going. And we all love that, right? Never quite get fast enough inside of AutoCAD. So there's a couple of tips that have to do with the purge command. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page so that you can optimize it when you do go into purge. Now, when you type in the purge command or if you grab it from the ribbon or from the, from the menu system, it's going to take you into a dialog box for purge. And that's important to know because there's a big difference really between the purge dialog box and the command line interface for purge, which we'll talk about. So here I'm at the purge command. You can see on the screen here. And basically, this is showing me all of the things inside of my drawing that I can get rid of. And I can only get rid of unused objects. So I actually like to say purge all just to get rid of all of the garbage. But if you just created a layer and you haven't put anything on the layer, that layer will disappear. So you might want to keep that in mind. Now, in the old days when we went into the purge command, we'd have to go into it again and again and again because there was no way for the old purge command to get rid of nested objects. So I always have purge nested items on here. That's going to keep you from having to go into the purge command over and over and over again, which is just no fun. And we all have better things to do now, don't we? So um, I'm not too big into confirming each item to be purged because that just means that every single thing it's going to clean from your drawing is going to ask you about. So I always turn that one off. It used to be that we'd say, um, yes, get rid of that. Yes, enter. Yes, enter. Yes, enter. Yes, enter. Who has time for that? So I don't like to confirm the items to be purged, but I do like to purge the nested items. So, And then I would go ahead and I would say a purge all. And I don't know how this drawing looks. You know, it looks like it got rid of quite a few things actually in my drawing. You can see right now all nice and clean. Now, there's also an option in this dialog box for view items you cannot purge. So these are all of the things in your drawing that you can't get rid of. I'm not really sure what the point is of that. You know, things you'd like to get rid of, but it looks like you can't kind of deal. So, but that's in there in case you're interested. Now, a nice new option is this purge zero length of geometry and empty text objects. That is for those of you inside of AutoCAD 2010. That was added to get rid of this miscellaneous garbage that just seems to pop into the drawing file when you're, you know, if you're working with like microstation drawings, it happens a lot or, um, you know, based on what you're doing, you just get these wacky little empty text objects and zero length geometry, which just clutters up your drawing. Always get rid of those. No reason to keep those. Those are just a bunch of garbage. So always have that selected. You can see that I had that selected there before. Since I've done a, a purge, it's grayed out right now. Okay, so what else? So let me just close out of there. I want to also point out the dash purge command, right? Dash purge. It helps if I spell it right. So because the dash purge command will take you into the command line interface for the purge command. And you will see an option called reg apps. Now that you know, from time to time, as especially if you work with a lot of XREFs, you'll get a variety of these applications that get added into your drawing file that can make your drawing files huge. I mean, they can blow them up to 3 megabytes, 5 megabytes, 10 megabytes, or more. I mean, we all know we can have extremely large drawing files, gigabytes even, right? And these registered applications can really balloon up your drawing files and slow you down dramatically. So, Definitely take a look at the reg app option, you know, and then if you just want to get rid of all of them, you can just hit an asterisk. And I don't like it, once again, to have it ask me to verify each thing to be purged, but you will find, in this case, see, 13 registered applications were deleted. Now, you don't need those. You're not going to have any issues with them if they disappear. If AutoCAD needs them, it will go get them again. So definitely clean your drawing files out, and then you'll find that you go so much faster, and you're going to get your jobs done faster so you can get home faster and enjoy the rest of your week, right? So thank you for joining me. I hope all is well, and I'll see you in two more weeks.